Number 24. Variations in average atomic mass may be observed for elements obtained from different sources. Lithium provides an example of this. The isotopic composition of lithium from naturally occurring minerals is 7.5% lithium-6 and 92.5% lithium-7, which have masses of 6.01512 AMU and 7.01600 AMU, respectively. A commercial source of lithium recycled from a military source was 3.75% lithium-6 and the rest was lithium-7. Calculate the average atomic mass values for each of these two sources. All right, so it looks like we're doing the same thing twice because we have the two different sources. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line here to divide the two parts. So let's just call this source number one, and then we'll work on source number two. All right, so let's list everything that we know for the first part. The first part, which I um, highlighted in green here, they talked about from naturally occurring minerals, right? And we had lithium-6, so I'm just going to put Li-6 and Li-7. And they told us the percentage of each, so I'm going to write that down. Lithium-6 was 7.5%, and lithium-7 was 92.5%. And they gave us masses of each, so... We have 6.01512 AMU, and we have 7.01600 AMU for this one. Now, just know, respectively, just means that whichever one they said first, lithium-6, is the first one that they're talking about when they list things. So that's what respectively means. So the second one that they talked about, lithium-7, would be the second number that they give. That's just what respectively means. All right. So we have to find the average atomic mass. We've done two questions like this. So if you guys, if this is your first time here, excuse me, for average atomic mass, um, go back to number question 22 and 23 just to kind of get the hang of it. But we should know that average atomic mass, AAM, I'm just going to abbreviate it, average atomic mass is just the sum, which just means adding, of what you multiply your isotopic masses, so the number in AMU, times by the decimal abundance. And I can't stress decimal enough. You have to convert your percentages to decimal percentages, right? The decimal equivalent. So just know that when you have a de if you have a percent and you want to go to your decimal equivalent, you always divide by 100 or you move the decimal place over to the left two times. So that's what we have to do for 7.5% and 92.5%. So I'm going to do that right now. 7.5% is 0 0.075, and 92.5 is 0 0.925. Those are the numbers that we will multiply together, right? This is multiplication. We times the mass, which is in AMU, times by the decimal abundance. So let's get down to it. So we're going to take 0 0.075 and times up by 6. 0, 0.01512, and then we're going to take the 0 0.925 times 7.01600 and get those numbers. So let's go for it, 0 0.075 times 6.01512. And sig figs here, guys, this one we need two sig figs, so this one would be just 0 0.45, so 0 0.45. AMU, and then when I take this, 0 0.925 times 7.01600, this one we need three sig figs, so this would be 6.49 AMU. And now, once we have all of those, what are we going to do? Oh, we're just going to sum them all up. We're just going to literally add. So it would be the 0 0.45 AMU plus the 6.49 AMU. 
Add those together and you will finally get the average atomic mass. So the average atomic mass is whatever these are added up to be. 0.45 plus 6.49, 6.94 AMU. That's the answer to the first source from the naturally occurring minerals. So that's that. Now we just got to do it again for the other ones. So let's list it out. They still gave us lithium-6 and lithium-7. Cool. Let's do the percentages first. So let's find them out. From the military source, they told us that it was 3.75% of lithium-6. 3.75% lithium-6, and the rest is lithium-7. Uh, they didn't tell us how much, but what do we know, guys, right? A total percent is out of 100%. So how are we going to find the percentage for lithium-7? Oh, just 100% minus 3.75. And that would tell us how much percentage is of the lithium-7. So if I just say 100 minus... 3.75, I get 96.25. And that's the percentage that should go with lithium-7. So sometimes they might just tell you, you know, blatantly what it is. They might want you to do a little bit more extra work. And now um, we're still going back to the masses. So this lithium-6 still would have 6.01512 AMU. And this one would still have 7.01600 AMU. So, just like before, we have to first times them, and then we add all the numbers up, right? We sum them up. But we got to first convert this percentage into a decimal percent, right? So 3.75 would be 0 0.0375. 96.25 would be 0 0.9625. Now we can times the two numbers, right? This times this, and then this times this. So let me write that out for you. 0 0.0375 times 6.01512, 0 0.9625 times 7.01600. Calci time, let's get the answer. 0 0.0375 times 6.01512. Uh, this, this one needs three sig figs, so 0 0.226 AMU. And then 0 0.9625 times 7.01600. This one needs four sig figs. So this one is 6.753 AMU. Now, what do we do? We take the sum, right? So it would be this plus this. And when you do that, that should be your answer for the average atomic mass. I'm just gonna put AAM. Average atomic mass is 0.226 plus 6.753. We got the correct number of sig figs, three after the decimal. That's the lowest number. So in this case, we get 6.979 AMU, box that answer off. So as you can see, for both of them, the average atomic mass is going to be roughly 6.9 and then some change, right? So they're very, very close to each other. So for each element, the average atomic mass should never be very, very, very different. So if you get different numbers, go back, something went wrong, maybe in your calculations, all right? So everyone, thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope this helped. I hope you guys understand more of isotopes and average atomic mass. Not this uh, math really, but it's really important to know what isotopes are for all those standardized exams, like the MCAT, the PCAT, especially the MCAT. Let me know in the comments if you're taking the MCAT. That would be pretty cool to know. But anyway, I'll see you guys all in number 25. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.